Hello and welcome. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. In today's haul, I found a really good mix of items throughout the store. So I have a lot to share with you. So let's just go ahead and jump right on in. Now I did pick up some florals on this trip and I was able to find these really pretty petunias. I did find them in two colors, this really pretty pink and white. I even like the leaves on this. And then I also found them in this really pretty like baby blue and white. I did pick up just a couple stems of each of them. I also came across some new greenage and they're just calling this plastic foliage, but I like it. I think it's really pretty. I like the lighter and darker leaves and it even has these little things that look like little buds are coming. So I did pick up about four stems of that one. I thought that would be a really nice filler. And then I also picked up a few more of these. Now I've purchased these in the past. They just call them blooming branches. I think they look like little baby cattails. I thought they were very interesting. I like the dark branches with the little light like cotton tail. Very interesting. So I grabbed a couple of these as well. I did pick up a few things from the Spring Fling collection. They had these adorable little gift bags that look like a purse. They had about three different ones to choose from. They have a little insert on the bottom there that you can put down to keep it open. But look at how cute that is. That is a really nice size. And they do have the little ribbon there for you. So cute. What a nice little gift. I think they're adorable. So I picked this one up and I also fell in love with this pattern. Very, very pretty. Nice and big. First time I've seen these at Dollar Tree. Have you seen these in the past? I also found this new garland. It's six feet long and it is stuffed tulips. I'm so excited. I saw someone else haul this and I was so hoping that they would make it to my store. Let me open this up for you. So you have your little tulips and then they have a little pom-pom ball in between. And the top part of the tulip is stuffed, but the leaves are not. I think that's really cute. I thought, you know, this would be a good piece to deconstruct. The tulips would be wonderful to use in a craft project. So I did pick up about three. One uh, to use as garland and the other two to take apart and use in crafting. This was something new that I found over in the St. Patrick's Day section. 35 temporary tattoos. I thought that was really cute. That would be really fun if you were planning on going out on St. Patrick's Day. They had three different packs to choose from. Let me open this up so we can get a look. Okay, so that's what they look like. That is a really nice variety. And they did have three different packages to choose from. I just grabbed one. I found a new wooden carrot. This was over in the Easter section. I haven't seen this one before, so I decided to grab two. And I like how they did the top. They kind of added an additional piece here for the greenery, which I like. And I like how they did the lines on the carrot. I also picked up this package of Color Your Own Ornaments. That's the first time I've seen the bunny butt in the ornaments. So I decided to grab a pack and you get eight pieces. I think that's a really good deal. That's so cute. You can use that on so many different things. My store finally restocked on its glue stick. So I picked up four packages. I was completely out and had to run to a different store to get some. So I was really happy when they got them in. I made sure to stock up. I also grabbed some more of their decorative mesh, and this is the mesh that has the fake snow on it. 
I really like this. It does not fray when you do a cut method. And I like that they give you a lot of interesting color options. So I picked up several here in the peach. And then I also picked up several here in the yellow. I was running very low on both those colors. And this one I have a specific idea for when summertime comes. I also decided to pick up some more ribbon and I went for their plain faux burlap. It comes in orange and in pink over in the Easter section. So I figured since my store still had plenty of ribbon, I would pick up a couple rolls to stock up because I've used all that I had of these two. It was nice to see that Dollar Tree restocked on all of their wood plaques. And in the box, you had three different ones to choose from. We have this one that's oval. I like how they bevel the edge there, and it's still really nice and thick. A great piece to do a nice wall decor or even use it as a base for another project. So they have three different ones to choose from. I like this one that has a little bit more rounded on the corners there. And they're all beveled, which I like. It makes them look a little bit more high end. So I did grab one of each of them. Dollar Tree also got in several new of their LED unfinished wood lights. This one just really made me smile. I thought, you know, this would be really cute to use on a 4th of July project. Uh, I also took a photo. They had a couple other ones to choose from. I also picked up another package here of their wired jute cord. You get seven and a half feet. It's been a while since I've seen this in the stores, so I decided to grab one. I don't have much left in my stash. Now this is something new that I found over in the Crafter Square section. They are disposable aprons and you get six of them in a package. These will really come in handy when I go to do my resin work. Dollar Tree just got in a whole new section of rub-on transfers. Now this first one they have had in the past, but I really do love it because it has all the words on there and it's easy to just go in and to cut out the ones that you need and move them over. But you have a lot to choose from. I really like that. Now this is a new one. It's all done in black and white, perfect for spring. We have all kinds of little birds. It says with love and thank you. Perfect for making cards. And another black and white. Really pretty designs, beautiful roses. I thought this one was really pretty. Pink roses, beautiful borders. And then this one I thought was really interesting. I like the color combination that they chose for the different blooms. You have a lot of neutral and then you have a really nice pop of color. And who doesn't love that blue hydrangea? Absolutely gorgeous. And then I really like this one as well. You get ladybugs. Look at that big, beautiful dragonfly. Greenery, butterfly. The ladybugs are adorable. I also restocked on my wreath supplies. I picked up several wreath forms. I picked up four more here of the 14 inch silver wreath form. And I also picked up five more in the 18 inch. I was down to only one. And it's been a while since I've seen these in my stores. So whenever you see the wreath forms, if they don't carry them on a regular basis in your store, you should pick up a few to keep in your stash. I did find some new artificial nails, and this is the first time I've seen this Helios nail system. They only had one pattern, but I really like this. Some of them are French and some are plain white. They even have some little decor on there. I thought those were really pretty and I would give them a try. I've never seen this brand before. You get 24 nails and glue as well as adhesive tabs. So you can use either depending on what you prefer. So I picked up two packages of that one. I also grabbed this pack of nail polish. I thought that looked so pretty. This is 
The School of Good and Evil by Sally Hansen. Miracle Gel Polish. Let me take this out so you can get a better look. Oh, that is really pretty. Gonna be gorgeous for summertime. That beautiful shimmery pink. LA Colors also came out with a new set of their nail gem stickers and they had uh, four different ones to choose from. I really like them. This one has um, pearls and little gold dots along with some gems. This one is more just gems, but they're all different, which I really like. You know, I always love to have fun with my nails, and especially if it's only $1.25, I'm willing to try it. I also came across these really cute bobby pins. You get two, and I love the little butterflies. They are gemmed, and they did have a couple different colors to choose from. I absolutely love the pink. Now, I found this again, but instead of a bar, this is a body wash, and this is for women only. This is for your private area. This is micro V ohm and pH friendly, so it's made specifically for washing your private areas. I thought that was interesting. Um, I've never seen anything like that before. It says it's made with lemongrass extract, free from parabens and artificial colors and you get 6.76 ounces this was something new that i found they had two different ones to choose from i decided to go with this one bed you it is a camel milk pearl powder and a type of melon which i cannot pronounce seed this is for brightening and smoothing it is a triple milled face and body bar and it is also marked, it is cruelty free. They do not test on animals. It says camel milk has been known for centuries as a desert gold and recognized by women for its many unique and amazing beautifying properties. Fabulous, can't wait to try it. Nothing too exciting. I just had to pick up a package of the large band-aids. I also grabbed a couple more of these. I actually really like these in my toilet. It keeps everything smelling good. It keeps the toilet cleaner longer. And uh, yeah, I like this. I bought this in the past. Um, I've used them. I really do like them. And the scent is not overpowering. It just has a fresh, clean scent. It's supposed to be lavender vanilla but it's not that strong, which I like. I don't want to walk into my bathroom and be overwhelmed by peaches or Hawaiian scent or something. I want a fresh, clean smell, and this does it, and it does keep the bowl clean, so I'd definitely recommend these. So I finally found these containers that go in your refrigerator for organizing. Let's see if I can get them apart. I did pick up four of them. But these are nice and sturdy. I like that they have a pull handle on them so you can fill them with stuff, put them in and then pull them out like a drawer so you can easily have access to the things you need. So I thought this would help me get my kitchen uh, refrigerator a little bit more organized. You can also use these in your pantry. They don't have to be used in your refrigerator. They're nice and heavy duty. They'll last a long time. And I like the fact that they're clear so you can see what's in them. I also picked up some more of these nice large containers. And they've carried these for a long time. They have several different colors to choose from. I decided to go with the gray. I'm working on organizing out my closet and I needed something to put all of the smaller things in to keep them organized. So I grabbed a couple of these. They fit on my shelf perfectly. It was really nice to see that Dollar Tree got these containers back in. These are one of my favorite storage containers that Dollar Tree carries. They have snap-on lids which I love. I like that they're clear so I can see exactly what I've got stored in them. And they even come with a little handle to make it easy for you to carry. And they have a cutout here on top so that they are easily stackable and they fit together perfectly. I 
didn't have a whole lot of these, so I think they're probably just cleaning out whatever they had left. So I was really happy that I was able to pick up two more. Dollar Tree also got in some new collapsible storage containers and I really love the pattern. It's leaves and little florals. They had a couple different colors to choose from. I went with this kind of neutral gray and beige, but you can see the pattern is so pretty. I bought uh, four of these for organizing in my closet and they're the perfect size to sit on my shelves. When they're pushed in, you can't see what's in them, so you just pull them out and then you can get to everything. They keep my shelving looking nice and clean and well organized. I love it. Let me tell you, this trip was the trip for storage. I also found these, and I have been looking for these for a long time. These are to organize inside your desk. These are a hard felt. They are made by Jot, so I got four here in this small one. I got two in the longer one and three here in the largest. So I am definitely going to be getting my desk completely organized. I should be able to find everything I need now, but these are really nice. They give a very high end vibe, beautifully made. I did pick up one toy. Uh, this is something new that I haven't seen at Dollar Tree before. It is made by Greenbrier International, but they kind of changed their packaging. And this is a lightsaber. <laughs> it does take batteries and it does light up. It extends out. I thought that was really cool. They had a couple different colors to choose from. It uses uh, two AAA batteries, which are not included. But I thought, how fun would that be? If you have kids, they could, uh, you could buy one for each of them and they could go at it. And it would also make a really good uh, Halloween costume. So I did just pick up one of those. In the garden section, I picked up another package of the metal garden hooks. You get two pieces. I really like this. Um, I have a large metal shelving unit that I store all of my craft supplies on. And I use these to hook on that and then I'll hang like my wreath forms and things like that off of the hook to give me more storage. So these really do come in handy. I also picked up a package of their bungee cords. Uh, I use these on a few things and I have one that is just about ready to break and I needed to replace it. So I picked up a package, you get five of them in this package, which that's a really good deal for $1.25. I also picked up one of these, an LED portable work light. Now I've heard other people who have hauled these say they're really good. Uh, we had lights out a couple weeks ago and our area is not supposed to go without power because we're on the same grid as the police station but something happened and it went out and it was out for about eight hours so we only had a couple lights to use during that time so i decided you know i think i should pick up one or two more so i grabbed one of these i'm going to try it if it works really well i'll pick up another one for that exact purpose when the lights go out and you need light to get around the house I like these better than flashlights because you can actually set them down and you still get full light in the room. Now this was something new that I haven't seen before. It is a window and door alarm. I've seen these at other stores but not at Dollar Tree so I was surprised when I saw it. And uh, you hook it up, you put a battery in it, and then when the two separate, the alarm goes off. So this is really good if you've got little kids that are maybe coming to visit that like to uh, help themselves to go outside and you don't want them to. This will let you know whenever they leave. Or maybe um, you have an area where you have a window, you live downstairs, and you want to make sure that window doesn't open while you're sleeping. This will allow you to know if that window opens. So I think this is a really really good security feature that you can buy for $1.25. I love it. I picked up one of their bubbler mailers. I have something that I wanted to send to my niece and I needed something to put it in and I thought that was really cool. These come in several different colors, silver, gold, green, and red. It's 11 inches by eight and a half inches. I think that's really good. 
I also picked up several more packages of their packing paper. I use this all the time. I use it when I do painting or any kind of messy work. I'll lay this down. It makes cleanup really easy. I also use this when I'm in a pinch to line the bottom of my bird cage. So these really do come in handy for me. I found some new advanced coloring books and these are really big. I like the size. You get 12 unique designs and they are by Crown Jewels, but I think they did a really nice job. I love the detailed patterns. So I did find two that are large like this. So this one is flowers. And then I also found this one, which is animals. I really liked the llamas that they had here on the front. But they have a lot of different things to choose from. And you know, sometimes I want to do art, but I don't want to think about it. This right here is the best thing to do. If you're stressed and you need a little relief, you need a little escape, these are great because you don't really have to think too much, you just color. And I used to love to color when I was little. I had all kinds of crayons, coloring books, drawing paper, everything. I loved it all. So it was really nice to see these. They also had several um, children's coloring books that were this size. They had Mickey and a couple other characters to choose from. But it was really nice to see these and I love the size. Nice and big. If you finish something like this and you really like it, it would be so pretty to frame. I did pick up several treats for my dog. I really like the kind rewards that they have at Dollar Tree. This is usually the brand that I buy. There is one other brand that I do buy, but I haven't seen it in a long time. So I picked up a package of his duck jerky treats. These are his absolute favorite. But I thought I'd also try the chicken jerky and see how much he likes that. You get uh, 1.65 ounces in this one and 1.42 ounces in this one. And then he likes these a lot. These are made with peanut butter, the little knotted bones. These take him a little bit longer to chew. And then this is the first time I've seen this one. It says first ingredient is chicken. And these are chicken wrapped little uh, chew bones. So I got him a package of that to taste as well. This one is 1.76 ounces and this one is 2.3 ounces. These are all made by Kind Rewards. I also picked up a couple more packages of the Chop House Bites by Tillamook. This is their Hawaiian style teriyaki, and this is really good. I like it. You get five grams of protein for 60 calories, and this is made with 100% natural USA pork. I've tried this one in the past and I do like it, so I grabbed two of them to put in my little snack box. I also picked up one of these. This is the first time I've seen this at Dollar Tree by Ortega Fish Taco Seasoning Mix. That sounded good, so I picked that up to try. Have any of you tried this in the past? If you have, let me know what you think in the comments below. This was also something new that I found. Delight Faux Millie's Spring Broth. Let's see, we get three packages in there. They are broth bags, like, like a little tea bag, I guess. 10 calories, one gram of sugar, two carbohydrates, 320 milligrams of sodium. That's kind of high. It says it's keto friendly and vegan. And I thought I would try that. This is the first time I've seen the Crush brand for pineapple. I did pick up a Sunkiss pineapple it's a little weird tasting, so I decided to grab this to see if this one's any better since it is a different brand. And then I also found this by Jolly Ranchers, and if it tastes anything like the candy, I'm going to absolutely love it. This is their watermelon, and these are both sugar-free. No sugar in these. You just add them to your water to add flavor. I also decided to pick up a package here of, of the Buttery Homestyle Mashed Potatoes. This is a nice small package, which is perfect for just two people. So every once in a while, I'll pick up one of these for a quick dinner side. Now this was a new brand, So Natural. I loved the freeze dried fruit. So I did pick up a couple of these. I got the, let's see, what is this? Mixed fruit in that one. 
This one is pear crisps and some delicious apple slices. These always make for a really good snack. This is another one of my favorite snacks. If you've never tried these, you should. They're very good. This is a baked green pea snack. This one is lightly salted. They do have several different flavors to choose from, but this is something new that uh, just recently I've seen Dollar Tree has started to carry, and I love these. I used to buy the huge bags from Costco. If you like a crunchy snack, this is a good one, and um, it's pretty healthy for you, not too bad. I did find some new energy drinks. This one is Prime and it is strawberry watermelon. You get 12 fluid ounces. Let's see, zero sugar, 355 milligrams of electrolytes. It's vegan and contains 200 milligrams of caffeine. It also has potassium, vitamin B6, and vitamin B12, as well as magnesium. And it's only 10 calories. So I did find it in two flavors, the strawberry watermelon and the orange mango. Now I have not tried these yet. With me, the energy drinks are very hit and miss. A lot of them have that weird kind of flavor in them that I don't like. So I don't know. Have you tried this brand and do you like it? Let me know. This was also another new energy drink that I found, C4. I found two flavors. They have watermelon, icy blue raspberry. These again are both sugar free. And these are the non-carbonated formula and you get 12 fluid ounces. I haven't tried this one before either, but I'm always willing to try the new ones when they come in as long as they're sugar free. Now I was surprised to find some Alani energy drinks. Now I've tried both of these and they are both very good. Alani is a really good brand. Um, a lot of their stuff is very clean and zero sugar. They have two flavors here. This is kiwi guava and this is mimosa. And like I said, I like both of them. I think I like the mimosa a little bit better, but these are a great brand to find at Dollar Tree. They're a lot more expensive than $1.25. It's really nice to see that they got some more of my favorite brand, Monster Energy Drinks in. I found two different flavors. This one in the blue can is called Ultra Blue, and this one is Ultra Golden Pineapple, which sounded really good. I have not tried the pineapple yet. I have tried the Energy, the Ultra Blue. This one is okay. It's not one of my favorites, but it's go okay. I can drink it. But I'm excited to give this a try. I absolutely love anything that is pineapple flavored. So hopefully it will actually taste like a pineapple. And of course they're both sugar free and they're loaded with B vitamins, potassium. Really nice. I like their brand. It was also nice to see that they got more of these in. Positive Energy Zero Sugar. This is Immunity Boosting Energy. No artificial colors or preservatives. You get 12 fluid ounces, and this is Tropical Bliss. I like these as well. They had them in last year, and I enjoyed them during the time they had them. So it was really good to see they got them in again. That is everything that I picked up this trip to Dollar Tree. So many great items kind of mixed throughout the whole store. Thanks so much for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to see you. If you enjoy craft tutorials and hauls, you're going to want to check out these other videos. Have a great day. Take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video.